Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a handsaw. Coming up! Hey everyone, it's David from David's DIY Reviews. On this channel, we do DIY reviews, product tests, and reviewing of DIY materials and how-to videos just like this one. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos just like this. And stick around to the end of the video for three bonus tips I have that I bet you guys don't know about. The first step to making your cut will be setting up the saw and guiding the blade to start your cut. You can either guide it with the knuckle of your thumb like this, or sometimes I like to use the edge of my fingernail just like this. Next you want to remember to cut just on the waist side of your line on the material that you're cutting. The next thing to remember is to allow for the kerf of the saw. That is the groove in the wood that you're cutting that will be created by the actual width of the blade of the saw. The first tip I have for you guys is to point your index finger along the length of the saw. This will help you guide your saw and turn it if needed when making your cut. So before you start your cut, you want to start your kerf. And to do that, you pull back on the saw. As you're cutting, you want to try to move the saw in an oscillating motion like this. That will help keep the saw from binding up as you make your cut. As you're cutting, try to use the full length of the blade. Let the saw do the work. And remember, the saw only cuts on the forward stroke. So you only really want to apply pressure when cutting a forward motion. When you reach the end of your cut and are near the point where your off cut piece is going to come off, you want to shallow out the angle of your blade. This is also helpful if you're cutting wood that is wet. And remember, at the end of your cut, you want to support the waist portion of your wood to keep the wood from cracking and chipping as it comes off. My first bonus tip for you guys that you may not know about is that the angle that is cut on the handle of a saw can actually be used for layout just like a combination square. The way that works is you just take your saw, place it against your wood like this so that the handle is perpendicular with the edge of your material and that will make the blade straight across your wood. You take your pen or pencil, make your line. Just the same as if you want to do a 45 degree angle, you take the saw, put it against your wood like this, take your pen or pencil, and make your line. The next tip I have for you guys is if you're cutting a piece of material and it's binding against the saw blade, because maybe there's a lot of tension in the piece of wood you're cutting, you can actually put a screw or a piece of metal, like a nail, into the kerf that will hold the wood and the cut apart and keep it from binding. Another tip I have for you guys, if you're having trouble cutting straight along the line you've made, you can clamp a piece of material against the line that you're cutting to run the blade of the saw against, and that will really help you make a nice straight cut. <laughs> And remember guys, making good cuts with a saw means having good layout skills. And if that means using a tape measure and that's something you're struggling with, I've actually made a video in the YouTube card above about how to use a tape measure. And if you think I've forgotten any tips or tricks that you like to use when you're cutting with a saw, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. See you in the next video.